it's Ken here and greetings from DYC Studios. Today we're going to open up something cool. As you guys know, I am a content creator. I create content. I stream live almost weekly on Behance. And I also teach a marketing course from like 9.30 a.m. till about 5 p.m. every day. It's important for my home studio to have a little bit more space on my desktop. I now have the Rode PSA1 Studio Arm. And I am excited. I've heard a lot of good things about this. It's supposed to be one of the best studio arms or boom arms out there for computers and people doing uh, content. This is gonna be great. I'm excited. And also because they also do voices for Character Animator and other applications, it's important that I have a good stand for my microphone. I'm excited to open this up. Are you guys ready? Let's get going. I'll give you to the count of time's up. <laughs> You're not laughing. <laughs> okay, I have my trusty scissors, so I am ready to open this bad boy up. Let's see, where should we do it at? Right here. I'm gonna even need the scissors. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. All right. Maybe I do. Oh, maybe I do. Okay, I see ya. I need right here. Move that Amazon Prime label right there and cut this one. And I think. Oh, wow. Okay, it slides right out. Okay, I'm just gonna set this right here over to the side for right now. And let's, oh, I'm really excited about this. This is supposedly one of the nicest arms out there. Okay, all right. Oh, very easy, nicely wrapped. Is there anything, what else is in here? Ooh, a couple other things. I guess, My, whoa. Okay, all right, nothing in there, but. Ah, there's the clamp. So much, okay. All right, let's see what all we have. All right, move all this garbage aside. I didn't even really need the scissors. Let's open this up and check it out. Are you ready, Jinx? Jinx is ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's unwrap. Okay. So I know this is gonna be what we screw onto the desk. Oh, I do need my scissors for a second. This needs to be cut right here. So there's the clamp. Keep those scissors handy. Wow, they wrapped this up pretty, pretty good, I have to say. So here is the clamp. All right, just gonna set that down. So we have the manual. So you got the desk insert, the desk clamp, the arm, the Velcro tags, the attachment pin, thumb screws, and the locking nut. So, okay, so we have the little attachment right there in case we need to change the size. And let's see, how do we open this? Where is it taped at? Right here. I mean, they really wanted this tape good, which is great. Rode always packages their items really nice. So, okay, just gonna move all of this stuff here. Notice I do this stuff when my wife is not home. I can make a mess and have fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this out and we are going to, ooh, this is really this caution, spring loaded. So let's be careful opening this up. That way it doesn't slam into my face. Yeah, it, yeah, there's a spring. <laughs> so, whoa, there we go. Awesome. So we have the microphone stand right here. Really cool. Hopefully this balances. All right, there we go. And then let's see what is all inside of this. Oh, this is where if you want to drill it into your desk and put it in, 
So this is something we don't need at the moment, but nice to have. I, since I have an antique desk, I'm not gonna bore a hole in my desk, but it's nice to have that option, I guess, if you wanted to. But I personally, my wife would kill me if I uh, bore a hole in that antique desk. So we're gonna keep that in there. And I'm just gonna leave this little nut right here for right now. Now, this should be fairly easy. So all you gotta do, oh, you know what? This might actually come in handy. So you just twist this like this. I'm gonna put it on this table just for fun. And I think Jinx doesn't mind, you know, sharing my space with her. Simply just rotate, 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 rotate. And then I'm just gonna clamp this on. Oops, move this out of the way. There, easy. It mounts like in two seconds to almost anything. As long as the table has a lip, then you're good. Or again, you know, if you wanna drill a hole in your desk, then go ahead. But I'm I'm okay with this. This is this is fine. This is perfect. I was kind of worried about how this would fit because I do have the antique desk and it does have a lip on it, thank goodness. In other words, it wouldn't work at all. So it's gonna work. I'm happy about that. Uh, so this is really good. So then all you gotta do is simply take this and put it in. And you can sit there and move this. Surely this bends and locks. Somehow, it should go. Okay, this is gonna be interesting, guys. Oh, yeah, don't get your fingers caught in the middle there. Ah, crap. <laughs> you can put your cable through it and run your cable, which makes that nicer too. But if it's, it needs to be like this. I need to figure out how this tightens. And it doesn't tell me that in the instructions. Really weird, right? It should lock. Just don't get your fingers caught in between this. It hurts like hell. So let's figure this out. Give me one second because that's kind of weird. Okay, so I figured it out. Now it needs the weight of a microphone on it to be able to stay in place. So when I put a microphone on there, it will not pop back up. So that's really great. So I can adjust it however I want. Now, one thing to keep in mind is not get your fingers caught in here. You will scream bloody murder. Trust me, I've already done that while I've been playing with this. So again, just keep your fingers clear and you're gonna be good. And you can adjust it pretty much however you want. Now this holds, I think up to four pounds, give or take, let me see. Yeah, roughly about four pounds. So I think, you know, now the blue snowball microphone is a little lightweight, so it doesn't adjust probably as easy as probably like the HyperX Quadcast S or like a Yeti microphone, because those microphones have a little bit more bulk to them, depending on which one you get, uh, with Yeti at least, the HyperX Quadcast S is a good size. Now, so it's really great, so you can have the Velcro strips to really hold the cable in place, so that's super cool. And most likely, I would consider getting, you know, a couple extra pieces of Velcro, and I do have extra pieces of Velcro handy, so I'm not worried about that. But great, it's perfect. I can pop it however I want, adjust it, and then, you know, if I'm not using it, bam, it's in the back. Now I'm not streaming, I'm just drawing, I'm working, you know, on my tablet. No reason to have my microphone out in the way. I'm ready for my microphone to be used. Boom, again, <laughs> the cord's loose right now on this. So again, you know, I can just adjust it however I want and it's ready to go. I'm ready to stream, I'm ready to record audio, use Adobe Audition, use my voice in Adobe Character Animator, do dubs in Adobe Premiere or Adobe Premiere Rush, you know, one of the two. So this is nice, I like it. So the Rogue PSA, one is really gonna clear up my desktop because look, now I have all the space right here. This is gonna be locked in place in the back and now it's a massive, huge desk. It's an antique desk. 
So it's got a lot of space on it. That's really great. In fact, I but I need that extra space. To be honest with you, I could it could even be double the size and I'd be even happier. Uh, but this will open up more space. Again, you know, like I said, if I'm not using the microphone, bam, I just pop it up. It's 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 there. I'm ready to use the microphone, pop it down. Again, be careful with your fingers. And this cable just pops out a little bit sometimes. You know, once it's in there, it's ready to go. It's super, it's perfect, I love it. It is, like I said, if I get the HyperX Quadcast S, it's got the shock mount, it's got the pop filter, everything, it works. Well, uh, granted, the, okay, the pop filter will work, on, or the shock mount from the blue snowball would work on this, but you can't get that in Europe anymore. Um, or if you can, it's expensive. The filter, the pop filter won't fit on there. Now I could put Velcro along here and really put that filter on there, but then it's gonna have that big clunky thing right there. And if that falls down on my XP Pen Artist 24 Pro, I'm gonna be crying if it were to crack the screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a microphone that has the pop filter built in and good is. Yeah, I think it's nice. I can adjust it however I want, I can spin it, Hello there, how you doing? Yeah, I'm happy. I think, you know, the Rode PSA-1 studio arm, microphone arm, whatever you want to call it, is going to be a nice addition to my home studio. Again, it's going to clear up that space on my desktop and that's what I needed. I don't always need to have my mic. I can then pop it up, pop it down, whatever. Again, like I said, just be careful with your fingers because you will catch your fingers and the cord keeps popping out of the microphone, but that's okay. All right, that's the Rode PSA-1. I think it's really cool. Again, it's gonna make my studio, my home studio, that much more nicer to have something like that. I'm gonna install that on the back either today or tomorrow and get it going. I'm happy. Anyways, if you use the Rode PSA-1 or another studio arm or boom mic arm, whatever, let me know in the comments below what you like about it, what you love. Do you guys use an arm? Do you think it actually will clear up more room on your desktop? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, give me that like on that video and definitely subscribe to my channel. I have more reviews coming for you guys. Again, I only post reviews when I like a product and when I buy a product. So to me, I'm not gonna try to ever sell you guys anything. It's stuff that I love that I wanna have in my arsenal. That way I can create with it and I'm gonna give you the honest truth about it. Again, I like this. I wish it would have a lock that I could lock on it and then put it into place. But hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, again, I guess that, you know, makes it easier because I probably would forget knowing me that I locked it into place. I mean, like, why is it not moving? Uh, that's good. But again, boom, boom, easy peasy, rotate, whatever I want. Cool. Love it. Awesome. So again, let me know in the comments below what you think about this studio arm. If you love it, if you hate it, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. And as always, happy creating.